In February of 2000, a listing appeared on eBay, simply titled Haunted Painting. The sellers claimed that the painting was haunted, obviously, and that various bizarre occurrences happened while they were in possession of the painting. The couple, who lived in California, claimed that their daughter witnessed the two figures in the painting coming to life, fighting, and walking into her room at night. In one event, the boy exited the painting after being threatened by the doll-like figure with some sort of firearm. One of the sellers, known as Lucy, claimed to have found it behind an old brewery. Strangely, while including obviously negligible photographic evidence of these events, implying that they wanted people to be under the impression that the painting was indeed haunted, they claimed that they did not believe that the painting was haunted, but they wished to do away with it in the case that it is in fact what is causing them to stress, in addition to requesting spiritual advice. The description in all caps read, When we received this painting, we thought it was really good art. A picker had found the abandoned behind an old brewery. At the time, we wondered a little why a seemingly perfectly fine painting would be discarded like that. One morning, our four-and-a-half-year-old daughter claimed that the children in the picture were fighting and coming into the room during the night. Now, I don't believe in UFOs or Elvis being alive, but my husband was alarmed. To my amusement, he set up a motion trigger camera for the nights. After three nights, there were pictures. The last two pictures shown were from that stakeout. After seeing the boy seemingly exiting the painting under threat, we decided the painting has to go. This painting may or not possess supernatural powers that could impact or change your life. To deter questions in this direction, there are no ghosts in this world, no supernatural powers. This is just a painting and most of these things have an explanation. I encourage you to bid on the artwork and consider the last two photographs as pure entertainment, and please do not take them into consideration when bidding. As well as a disclaimer meant to absolve them of liability in case anything happens to any buyers as a result of their possession of the painting. The painting includes a young boy and a doll resembling a young girl standing in front of a glass paneled door. The doll appears to be life-sized and in its hand is an object with wires protruding out of it, believed by the sellers to be a gun of some kind. Many disembodied hands can be seen pressing on the glass in the door from inside of the building. The listing contains several pictures of the painting, including one in which the doll appears to be glowing ominously against a dark background, a v contrast from its supposed normal appearance. The listing quickly gained traction. People who viewed the photos provided the painting reported that they experienced numerous strange feelings and events afterwards. One stated that they fainted at the sight of the painting. Another reportedly felt the sensation of being choked or suffocated. One claimed the monitor turned white, while radiating heat before they began to cry, never having felt more fearful in their life before. And more people claimed that their children became terrified at the sight of the painting. They claimed that they felt ill and even passed out. Some claimed that they heard children yelling in terror and had received strange visits at night. One person claimed they attempted to print the painting, only for the recently purchased printer to shred the paper to pieces. The painting eventually sold for $1,025, a considerable increase from the initial bid of $199, to an art gallery located in Michigan called Perceptions Gallery, owned by someone named Kim Smith, who eventually lost contact with the sellers sometime after purchasing it. In 10 days, it received 16,000 views, but only 30 bids. By the time it was sold, it had viewed 30,000 times. The painting is currently locked away in the art gallery, and is only shown on special occasions, as his family does not wish for it to be in their home. Despite their superstitions, they have not claimed for it to have caused any evidently paranormal incidents to them. Two people have interacted with the painting in some way before it came into possession of the couple. The owner of the gallery, which was once held, Charles Feingarten, as well as an art critic who published a review of the painting in the Los Angeles Times, Henry Seldes, both apparently died within one year of coming into contact with the painting. After the review by the art critic, it was bought by actor John Marley, and after his passing, its whereabouts would go unknown until it was found behind the brewery, where it would be found by the couple who would come into possession of it. The painting, known as The Hands Resist Him, was created by artist Bill Stoneham in 1972. He discovered the stories that surrounded the painting after being contacted by the gallery owner who bought it, his first time hearing about the painting for 27 years. Upon being contacted, he recalled the story of the two individuals who died in the year after coming into contact with the painting. According to him, the boy in the picture is himself, the door being a barrier between dreaming and waking, and the hands resembling alternate lives or past the boy will take in his life, with the doll being the guide to the passage between the two realms, the object suspected by the owners of being a firearm actually being a battery. The painting was created as a result of an art gallery, the Charles Feingarten Gallery, commissioning Stoneham, two arcs per month for $200, equivalent to about $1.2,000 today. He based the painting off of a picture of himself as a child. Three sequels of the painting were created in 2004, 2012, and 2017, being titled Resistance at the Threshold, Threshold of Revelation, and The Hands Would Vent Him. The first two show the boy after growing up, as the doll becomes a real girl as well. The most recent painting shows a young boy inside of the house, with the two characters in view outside of the door, though interestingly, the hands are absent. Stoneham still apparently receives messages from people disturbed by the paintings. 
Stoneham has stated that he was not in any state of distress while creating the painting and had no interest in the occult or anything like that. So what was the seller's motive for claiming the painting harbored some evil secret or was cursed? In the description, they include contradictory claims that the painting was haunted, but also stated they did not believe in ghosts or other similar paranormal phenomena. At the end of the description, they basically admitted to the pictures being used to draw attention. One solution that seems to make sense is that the owner simply wanted or needed money and claimed the painting to be cursed or haunted in order to generate attention. Which shown by the amount of infamy that the painting has attained, clearly worked as there are people seen over a decade after the painting was first listed, claiming that they have experienced some strange occurrence as a result of viewing the painting. Visitors to Kim's gallery also complained of similar effects to what people have viewed in previous places experience. Some even advised him to have it blessed or destroyed.